right, guys. This is the uh, new Bontech LGX extruder. Um, I just took it out of the box. I started to take it apart. Um, I posted some pictures on Twitter and thought, you know what, maybe some other people uh, would be interested in seeing uh, what this new extruder is and what it comes with. So uh, this is about $100 um, delivered to me from Sweden. And this is the body. You can see the new uh, filament gears here. These are larger uh, gears from my understanding. And this you would think is a release, but um, it is not a release. This is a, uh, a tension adjustment and there's five settings to adjust the tension on it. You can actually see that gear going in and out as it adjusts. So uh, I got my little screwdriver here and I started to take it apart. So let's finish taking it apart again. So a couple things, this screw um, threads all the way through to the motor and holds it on the motor. These do also, um, but these also do Double duty as um, they also remove this uh, adapter plate. And this is what the bottom of it looks like. This is the adapter plate for uh, the Mosquito hot end, obviously. And then in the box, there is another adapter, this adapter. And this is the uh, Bowden tube adapter. Slides on like so. Put your screws back in. Okay. Yeah, let's take this back out. But anyways, this screw is actually holding the extruder body together. So we take this off and we see a gear pretty similar to what the Hamera had, I think. It's a steel gear for sure. Um, and I can't see, there's no way to remove this gear. It looks like it's pressed on there to me, which might be an issue. I don't know yet, but anyways, so we'll set this aside. That's just a stepper motor with a really short shaft on it, and it's got a steel uh, gear on it. And then this is the extruder body. One thing that's interesting about this extruder is the mounting position. So it actually has mounting holes here and here, here and here and here and here. So literally uh, mounting positions on all sides. So let's pop these screws out here. And let's uh, take this screw out. I have not done this yet. So I think I'm gonna release the tension arm here. So it's a little screw, doesn't go all the way through. All right, so this is newfangled uh, technology. Um, there's definitely a spring. Take it apart. Um, I'm gonna press this back together. I just noticed that the space plate comes off. Boy, I'm like, I'm worried that a spring is gonna pop out at me here, but. So there's that. I'm trying to be careful not to move anything. And here's our look at the uh, the filament gears. Wow. So this is a really tight filament path. Oop. There that went. So I'm going to come around here. I would say that's a pretty tight filament path. I think they have a different adapter um, for flexibles, but I don't see why you couldn't put flexibles through this. This is a pretty tight filament path. 
when the other side is on, you know, when this side is on. So let's, I think that's all the further I'm going to take it apart. But really big gears. I forget what they said the gear ratio was on this, but there's definitely a bigger gear ratio. So, oh, I just moved that. I didn't want to move that. Let's put this back in here. Or was that off there the whole time? I don't know. So I'm going to try to press this back down on there. I'm pretty sure that this would go snap down on that hole. Oh, there it went. It just snapped in there. You see that? Look at that. So all this is doing is... Looks to me like it's just moving that gear ever so slightly. This this has little ridges in it right here. That's one. I think this is actually released. Let's see. That's tight. So there we go. So that is pretty tight. And then if we go if we click all the way this way, gears are free. If we go one click. I don't know. That's pretty tight. That's still pretty good right there. You can see the gear moving. Yeah. It's pretty tight. Definitely not one you want to be taking apart. Although, I don't really see... I mean, I guess anything's possible, but... Um, I wish this had a better fitting on it. So, all right. So then we're going to put uh, this back on it. Like so. I'll put this screw back in, like so. And we're gonna put our little little screw right here, like it's so. Yeah. Screw that back on. And then these guys are for the motor. And the question here is like I see on their website they have it mounted on an artillery sidewinder, which has the typical, you know, it has a, which, you know, most extruder assemblies have, they have that, that little plate that goes behind here. It's actually a three millimeter plate. So when we look at this, um, size of the plate, so it would have to sit out this far to, to be able for the motor to go on one side and this to go on the other side. I can't imagine they would have made this where this was a single unit um and then mount sideways i mean maybe like a hamera is what they're going for i don't know but this motor and gear are going to be a issue unless you can mount this to a regular bontech extruder motor with the longer shaft maybe i don't know i could try that actually as long as it doesn't go too far and i guess and hit that but i bet you the teeth count on this are somewhere but I assume that they're going for Hamera type deal on this. Some of their setups on this look like it. Some of them have like a heat sink on this side. Um, or like that, you know, Hamera looking heat sink. I don't know. But anyways, so we'll thread this back on. I'm to think the way that this mounts makes me think that it should be mounted, you know, facing like this on the on the printer, you know, the if the axis is going this way. So that would mount on there like that. 
The problem I see with this is like, well, maybe not a problem, but you would have to mount it this way. I guess it's okay. I still don't know how that's going to mount on the rail core though, because it's got an aluminum backing plate. And I was kind of anticipating this just sandwiching onto the extruder mount, kind of like, well, like pretty much every other extruder that goes on there or like the BMG. But maybe I'll have to make some kind of mounting of uh, Yeah, this is it. The Bontech LGX. Um, I pretty much got it the second they started pre-ordering. So anyways, uh, if you have a question, leave it down in the comments below. Or follow me on Twitter. I'd be happy to answer any questions on it. Um, people are asking for more photos. So there you go. So there it is in the box. And it comes with this little guy right here. And uh, there you go. Thanks, guys. Bye.